If you're anything like me, you at least know a child, have a child in your house, or are related to a child that plays Roblox. Tons and tons of people play it. Plenty of adults play it as well. But you and I both know a lot of kids play Roblox and they enjoy the experience. But a lot of kids play it on phones and Chromebooks. And today we want to show you a Chromebook that's not only a pretty decent performer, it's also really cheap and runs Roblox extremely well. But before we get into it, this video is brought to you by NordVPN. They're the VPN of choice for millions of users, and there's a reason they're awesome at what they do, and that is securing your browsing, whether you're on the go, out at public Wi-Fi, or at your home. If you'd like to learn more about how to keep your browsing safe and secure, go to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN to get started today. So the Chromebook we're talking about today is the Lenovo S330. It's been out for a little while, and in general, it seems to be the place to buy its Walmart at $169 brand new. And for that money, you're actually getting a pretty decent Chromebook. There are some parts of it that are terrible. I'm not gonna lie to you, but there are a lot of parts of it that are actually pretty great, especially considering that price. And as we've talked before, price informs a lot of things when we talk about buying a Chromebook. And at this steep of a discount, I, I shouldn't even say a discount because that, this is just the normal price. Sometimes it'll be on sale for 130 or 140 bucks. And there's just not much tech you can buy for that amount of money, especially that will actually get some things done. And, and we've done some stuff with this. We've written some articles and done a little bit of work, but it also can run Roblox really well for your kids. And at this kind of price point, this is the type of device you would want to buy for your children or just kind of have around the house kicking around to do whatever you need to do on it. So although this isn't a full-fledged review, let's talk a little bit about what you're getting for that $160, $170 from Walmart. Basically, you're looking at a device that's based on a baseboard that's been around for a little while. So it will be end of life in 2022. So specifically June 2022. So you can still get three full years uh, as of the filming of this video of use out of this Chromebook. So don't really worry about the fact that it's going to be end of life like next month or anything like that. It's not that old. But if you watch that point two Chromebook review, it's the same baseboard. So we're talking the same port selection. It's got a full size HDMI and a full size SD card slot, which is a little odd this day and age. But you get one USB Type-C, one USB Type-A, a Kensington, and it's a standard HD screen that looks pretty terrible, if I'm being honest. Uh, it's as bad as any Chromebook we've ever reviewed, so don't buy this thing if you're looking for the best screen. There is a model out there with a full HD screen. I've not seen it, so I don't want to comment on that. But this cheaper model is the one with the standard HD, so it's 1366 by 768. And again, it's a 14 inch screen. It doesn't look great. Don't buy this thing for the great screen. You're gonna have a hard time finding even a single spot where everything kind of looks decent on the screen. So the viewing angles are awful, colors are washed out, all that kind of stuff. But that's the negative stuff. The good stuff is it's built really well. It feels good. The, the palm rests and stuff have this nice soft touch coating to them. It feels like it can kind of take a beating. The keyboard is, you know, it's made by Lenovo. They make good keyboards. It feels really great under the under the fingertips. Trackpad is nice and smooth. Click mechanism is really good. Then to be honest, once I could kind of get myself to get past that screen, I actually got some work done on this thing too because I just wanted to see how that MediaTek was performing in this day and age. It's the MediaTek uh, 8173 processor. So again, these are some old specs and some older stuff. It's 32 gigs of onboard storage and four gigs of RAM. So like I said, not doing anything special or amazing. It just can kind of get the job done. But really what we're talking about here is a low price Chromebook that's good enough to do some things, but actually really good at running a specific game and that's Roblox. So the reason this device can run Roblox so well is kind of twofold. If we're talking Intel processors uh, that are in the higher end Chromebooks in general, they get through Android apps just by brute force. They're just powerful processors. But we can't neglect the fact that Android developers in general write their apps to run best on ARM powered devices and ARM chips are the chips that are normally in phones and tablets and stuff like that. So because we have that type of chip in this Chromebook, it just inherently runs Android apps much better than you'd expect. So if it runs things a little bit slow on the Chrome OS side, the minute you fire up an Android app, you're kind of met with this surprise bump in performance because it knows how to handle those applications a little better. So the second part of this is the fact that Roblox as a company has fully embraced 
Chromebooks as a platform. And so, I mean, honestly, it makes sense because kids use Chromebooks in their classroom. Kids play Roblox. It's clear that Roblox has seen this and gone, you know what? That's a massive audience we could tap into. Let's make sure our game works really well on Chromebooks with or without a touchscreen. This device that we're talking about today at this price, not surprisingly, does not come with a touchscreen. And it doesn't really even matter. My daughter actually plays Roblox all the time on her non-touchscreen Chromebook and never complains about it one bit, enjoys the experience because they figured out how to get all of those controls down onto the keyboard and trackpad with no issues whatsoever. I mean, she plays it at length and never finds herself reaching up and wishing she could touch the, the screen. And that's just not true of a lot of games and apps that run on Chromebooks in the Android framework because they're built for phones. And so Roblox has done just an amazing job of taking their game and making sure that they've taken advantage of everything a Chromebook has to offer. So once you put those two things together, the good performance on an ARM chip and then Roblox really building their game for Chromebooks and keyboards and all that kind of stuff, you end up with machines like this, the Lenovo S330 that is ridiculously inexpensive a pretty decent Chromebook overall that can really, really play Roblox well. I mean, I've played it a little bit on there. I don't play Roblox a ton. My daughter always wants me to, and I just, I can't really get into it. But the handful of games I've played on it with her, frame rates are nice, the graphics work, the game's not glitching out all over the place, and I can control it. It makes sense. And so all of a sudden now you've got this thing you can buy brand new for $160, $170, coming with a warranty straight from the manufacturer that's gonna have at least three years of support from Google, and it's just hard to find any device that you could spend that amount of money on and get this much use out of. So we heartily recommend it, especially if you're looking to run some Android apps, mainly like Roblox on it, and maybe get a handful of things done, check some email, go social media, that kind of stuff around the house. Is it gonna replace the best Chromebooks in the market? Not at all, and that's not the claim we're trying to make. But it makes for a really awesome Roblox machine, and I would bet that your kids would love using one. Guys, if you like this video and we've helped you make a purchasing decision, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and don't forget to hit that notification bell if you'd like to be informed when we make new videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.